So if this was a PFD and we want to apply the details of this PFD of the vessel on a P&ID, the P&ID will turn to be like this. This is because the P&ID should show all the main commodities we need to consider, whether in the equipment, the piping, or in the instruments. Although it's a schematic drawing at the end, so no need to consider scaling in the drawing, neither do we consider the line distance or elbows or supports in the P&IDs, as all these are considered in detailed piping design based on the P&ID and 3D model requirements. So, for example, the P&ID is expected to show all the nozzles in any piece of equipment, and what these nozzles are connected to. Shall they be connected to process lines, or to utility lines, or to instruments, or to pressure safety valves? Shall they be just blinded? All this should be reflected on the P&IDs. P&ID is the abbreviation of Piping and Instrumentation Diagram. This means that it should show all piping and instruments in the P&ID. So, we should show all field instruments. If these instruments are connected to control or shutdown system, the signal and interfaces should be well defined. And as we said, this applies on alarms as well. If we are talking about piping scope, we should show the line details, whether we are talking about the nominal diameter of the pipe, its flange rating, or whether it's insulated or heat traced. All these data are shown on the P&IDs. And needless to say, not just main process streams are shown as in the case of the PFD, but we should show all lines. For example, a control valve would have a bypass line in case it's out of service and we want to operate it with a manual globe valve until it's back to service. Or in case of a pump, if the pump doesn't have a minimum flow through a control valve, but through a restriction orifice, the minimum flow line is not commonly shown on the PFD, but it shall be shown on the P&IDs. For effluent lines, all lines going to closed drain system or to open drain system, as or to flare, should be shown on the P&IDs. These systems are typically not shown on the PFDs. If we are talking about a revamped project or any sort of interconnecting with existing systems, then the details of this connection and the exact scope of the P&IDs should be also well defined. Or in case of a compressor, we may need a hot bypass line during startup in case we are afraid of surge scenario. The surge scenario, anti-surge protection, and the need for a hot bypass line is usually studied by the compressor's manufacturer. And I have made a course talking about compressor's operation and explaining these points in detail. You can check it out in the bonus lecture if you like. The hot bypass line isn't commonly shown on the PFD, but should be shown on the P&IDs. In addition, P&ID should consider all utility and effluent lines. For example, in case of a PFD, cooling water lines are not always shown on a water cooler. But when we prepare a P&ID, the cooling water supply or return lines should be shown along with their source, which is the cooling water supply header, or their sink, which is the cooling water return header. Of course, the P&ID shows much more details. So, so in such a P&ID, we shall add isolation valves, fittings, instruments, PSVs, shutdown protection, and many other requirements as we have shown in the last videos. We shall go through each of them in details in the next lectures, but here we are just showing that there are lines that are shown in the P&D while not being shown on the PFDs. This is because the piping engineers are working based on the P&IDs. So they subsequently start to build a 3D model of the whole plant, prepare isometrics for each pipe, and calculate the quantity of valves and fittings needed. All this work is done based on P&IDs. So as we see, the P&ID plays a very important role in project execution. This is because it's a key document that shall define a lot of detailed work that should be done in a project and gives a clear indication of its expected cost. We shall discover more about how the project workflow goes and the role the P&ID plays in the next video.